Hi folks, Instructional Coordinator Adrian at Coronada Historic Site in Bernalillo, New Mexico. Today, as part of our ongoing series highlighting the native plants of Coronado Historic Site and the Rio Grande Valley, I'm going to introduce you to a new plant. The white flowers you can see here are known as spectacle pod. Uh, it's also known as tourist plant and it's native to the southwest. This biennial is a member of the mustard family. Its scientific name is Dimorphocarpa vislazini. The Greek name Dimorphocarpa translates as two-formed fruit. Vislazini is for Friedrich Adolf Vislazinus, who immigrated to St. Louis from Germany and traveled and collected plants in the West. He collected the first specimen of this plant on July 31st, 1846 in today's Socorro County. <clears throat> Spectacle Pod likes to grow in grassland, open hillsides, semi-deserts, sandy locations, and roadsides. It grows 8 to 20 inches tall and is recognizable by gray-green lobed and hairy leaves that grow low to the ground with upright stems topped with elongated clusters of four-petaled white flowers with yellow-green anthers. The seed pods of this plant are flat, green two-lobed capsules that kind of resemble spectacles or eyeglasses, hence the common name. The Zuni Pueblo people applied a warm infusion of the pulverized plant to swelling, especially the throat. A decoction of the entire plant was given for delirium. An infusion of the plant was taken by men to, quote, loosen their tongues so they may talk like fools and drunken men, end quote. The flower and fruit were eaten as an emetic for stomach aches. The Caras Pueblo people crushed the seeds and leaves and inhaled them for a sore nose. The Navajo or Diné made a lotion from the plant to ease centipede or sand cricket bites. So there you have it, folks. Spectacle Pod, native plant at Coronado Historic Site and the Rio Grande Valley. Thanks so much for watching.